and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and I'm here today to do a market review. The reason I wanted to do this today is because the market got down, and that's a fact, actually. So, again, this is not a good gap down, but the market did drop today. So let's just look here. Where did we open? 109.78. Oh, this is so tricky. I, 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 I. I mean. People are really, really going to start to think we're bearish here, but I, we're, we're, I'm looking at this here now. I didn't really study this today at all. I did not have time, but we're still higher. No one's going to believe me anymore. Let me just look here and say the, see the actual open here. Okay, this is a one-minute chart. I just want to see how we open. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Okay. I just wanted to look at that. Uh, we 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 ended up falling here. We really it took uh, quite a while to break the low. We didn't break the low until twelve forty or eleven forty five into the lunchtime period, and then around twelve forty five one o'clock is when we broke the low again here and really fell. Actually, no, we held here into the 11.45 and broke or went into 12.45, 1 o'clock, 1.15. But this I'm not looking at as bearish again on the daily chart. Where did we gap down to the yes? Did we fall to the yes? Really only fell in the afternoon late. We rallied in the morning and just retraced. We were 100% neutral until around this period here in the 15-minute chart at 1 o'clock. So I can't really call today bearish. We will close with this red body less than a half an hour to go in the day. We did get down today, that's true. Would I have shorted this in here? No, no, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have at all. And looking at this here now, this is basically a reverse swoosh. I just wanna look at one thing here, back in something, 111.16. Yeah, I mean, I see what, we, what we're what we doing here. And this is what people just don't get. I mean, here's where we rallied up to. This is an area we have not gotten over. Many people think we won't get over this area, but I have 100% conviction that we will. And that the market will make a new high, a high above and beyond the high that happened back here in March of 2000, which was 12050. And that seems like a long way away to some people that are looking at the market struggling to get over the high here at this area around 111-ish that we've been at for the last few days or weeks. But it's really not that far away. I mean, it's really not that far away. It's a less than a $10 rally, and that's not that big of a deal. It's like less than 10% of a move back. So I just want to point out the market is still extremely strong. We're still holding on support. Yes, we did have a bearish gap down today, but if I had rated this gap, I wouldn't have shorted it. And remember, I know how to read what is weak. The market isn't weak. There is nothing in here that, it, that looks weak to me. There's nothing that signifies weakness in this market. And I go back and back and back to pointing out what happened in here before, was this before the holiday? Yeah, it was before the holiday. Maybe it was after, I don't even remember now. Or was it 27th? Anyways, regardless, it was a day where the market had a beautiful, beautiful rally. Did 100% retracement of this previous gap down that happened on the 26th. And don't be surprised if something similar happens tomorrow. Don't be surprised if it happens tomorrow at all. I wouldn't be surprised to close out the week, even after the fall off today. And we pretty much have just been sideways this whole week. I mean, that's how I read this trading action here in this whole last week, the beginning part of June. It's just been sideways. I wouldn't read it as bearish. I don't see it as bearish. I really have a feeling that we're probably going to gap down tomorrow. Seeing here how we're closing, I wouldn't be surprised if we sold off a little bit in the post-market tonight in the pre-market. I don't know where we'd gap down to. Of course, we could gap up or be neutral in the morning, even if we end up falling a little bit in the post-market tonight. I just have a feeling here the way this looks that we're going we're gonna to come in a little bit more. But I won't be surprised if we gap neutral or up tomorrow and rally and flip through this entire position of the drop down from today in the last few days. I'm not saying that's going to happen, and I won't know unless I see the pre-market gap. 
but I, I actually have an instinct here. We may fall another day. So for the people who like to short, you've got the market on your side today and probably tomorrow, unless we do something nice, see bullish in the gap tomorrow morning. But be careful because don't be fooled in here thinking the market is not lower or not higher. Don't be fooled thinking the market is not higher. Don't be fooled thinking the market is lower. Just don't be fooled. This is the exact kind of thing that makes it very difficult for people because people look at this and they feel so much conviction and they feel like this is so clear that the market's lower. I'm saying don't be fooled. The market is not lower in the long term here or the short long term. And the market is also higher. Again, we could be bearish tomorrow, but I'm talking about short term meaning this month. Okay. And I called June to be a bullish month. Is it starting out that way? No. No, it's not. But I'm still calling June to be extremely bullish month. Today's only June 4th for Pete's sakes. Okay. Anyone interested in the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you'd like more information or you want to sign up for the class this weekend, June 6th and 7th. Get ready and learn how to trade gaps for third quarter earnings season, which starts uh, within the next few weeks. Have a great day, everyone.